Good evening, I'm Keely Van Bittendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. Beginning with tragic news involving the death of a child and a young man. According to Bakersfield Police, the incident took place on the intersection of Panama Lane and Hammond Way at about 1.16 this Wednesday afternoon. An 18-year-old male and a 10-year-old female were struck and killed after the driver of a vehicle left the roadway and drove onto the sidewalk for an unknown reason. The pedestrians were declared dead at the scene and the driver who caused the accident was transported to the hospital with minor injuries. This is a, a developing story, of course, and we will have updates available online and on air as we learn more. Taking a look at our local coronavirus case numbers today, Public Health reporting 313 more infections, raising our total amount to 159,336. A large spike in the number of people who lost their lives to the virus overnight. 14 more people have died, raising that total to 1,855. So far, no reported cases of the Omicron variant here in Kern. And we've got a storm system on the way. We're tracking this cold front here in Northern California. Doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to pick up some steam as it heads through the Central Valley overnight, taps into some moisture. You can see already tonight, good amount of snow in the Sierra, some rain to our north. I really don't think that rain gets here until pretty early in the morning, though. I think probably 6 a.m., 7 a.m., we're starting to see a little bit of rain in Northern Kern County, and then probably uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, that really starts to fill in. And then through the afternoon, as the showers wrap up here in the valley, we start to get a little bit more snow in our mountain communities. Not expecting a lot of snow, though, just the dusting, unless you're above about 6,000 feet. 100% chance of rain for our Thursday. Cool temperatures Friday night into Saturday, and then we keep a close eye on Monday and Tuesday because we have another decent rain chance there. Happy to see those two rain chances in the forecast and some snow chances, of course, as I said. Tatchby and Fraser Park, not a lot of snow, but some snowflakes mixing in, and that may be possible Monday and Tuesday as well. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com